three people were killed in today's massive explosion of the only bridge connecting Russia with the annexed territory of Crimea. Now, the blast partially collapsed the Kerch Bridge and paralyzed a key supply route for Moscow's faltering war in Ukraine. Look, this bridge isn't just logistically important. It's also a huge symbol for the Kremlin and its attempt to reunify Crimea with the Russian mainland. Blast damages prestige Crimea bridge central to Russia war effort. The road and rail bridge connecting Russia to Crimea was severely damaged by a huge truck explosion on Saturday, striking both a major symbol of the peninsula's annexation by Moscow and the main supply route for Russian soldiers battling to hold territory taken in southern Ukraine. The blast on the bridge over the Kerch Strait, for which Russia did not immediately assign blame, prompted gleeful messages from Ukrainian officials but no direct claim of responsibility. Russian investigators said three people had been killed probably the occupants of a car traveling near the truck that blew up. Russia seized Crimea from Ukraine in 2014 and the 19-kilometer, 12-mile, Kerch bridge linking it to Russia's transport network was opened with great fanfare four years later by President Vladimir Putin, who drove a construction truck across it. It now represents a major artery for the Russian forces who have taken control of most of southern Ukraine's Kherson region, and for the naval port of Sevastopol, whose governor told locals, keep calm don't panic. Although it is still unclear if the explosion was a purposeful act, the destruction of such important infrastructure occurred at a time when Russia has lost multiple battles and could undermine Kremlin assurances to the public that the war is progressing as planned. Additionally, it happened the day following Putin's 70th birthday. Alexei Danilov, the head of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, shared a video showing a bridge on fire and a Marilyn Monroe performance of Happy Birthday. Mr. President on social media. Ukrainian leaders have frequently mentioned their wish to demolish the Kerch Bridge, which is considered in Ukraine as a symbol of Russia's takeover of Crimea, since the invasion began on February 24. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova said Kyiv's reaction to the destruction of civilian infrastructure testifies to its terrorist nature. The Russian National Anti-Terrorism Committee said a freight truck had blown up on the bridge's roadway at 6.07 a.m., 0307 GMT, causing seven fuel tanker wagons to catch fire on a train heading for the peninsula on the bridge's upper level. It said two spans of road bridge had partially collapsed, but that the arch spanning the Kerch Strait, the waterway through which ships travel between the Black Sea and the beginning. Images posted by the Russian investigative committee showed one half of the roadway blown away, and the other half still attached, but cracked. Others taken from a distance showed thick smoke pouring from part of the bridge. An advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky posted a message on Twitter saying the incident was just the beginning but stopped short of saying Ukrainian forces were responsible for the blast. An advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky posted a message on Twitter saying the incident was just the beginning but stopped short of saying Ukrainian forces were responsible for the blast. Moscow has presented largely Russian-speaking Crimea as a historic and cherished part of Russia and, especially this year, one where Russians could holiday in large numbers, supposedly safe from the war. On Saturday, hundreds of people who had hoped to drive to Crimea from the Russian town of Kerch were redirected to the ferry port only to find that high winds were preventing any sailings. But there will be problems with logistics for Crimea, he added in a post on social media. Mykola Byaliskov of the Ukrainian Institute of Strategic Studies, which advises the presidency in Kyiv, said the Kerch Bridge was irreplaceable for Russia's invasion forces, and if it were severed the whole Russian southern front will crumble quickly and easily. Although Moscow's forces have seized a stretch of coastal Ukraine linking the Kherson region and Crimea to Russia, Byaliskov said the transport connections there were poor, and that Russia had preferred to send reinforcements to Kherson along the more circuitous route of the bridge into Crimea. Russian railways said trains heading for Crimea would be subject to extra checks, and that it was working with the government to find the best way to deliver goods to the peninsula. The governor of Crimea, 
Aksiwanov, expressed his desire to reassure Crimeans that food and fuel are both abundantly available in the Republic of Crimea. More than two months' worth of food and more than a month's worth of fuel are available. The Black Sea Fleet is based in Sevastopol, which has a distinct territorial status in Crimea, and the Russian governor of Sevastopol made an effort to reassure the inhabitants. The mainland is not sh